I've experienced um, interpartner violence almost nine years, um, physical and emotional. Before we was actually living together, we were married for a year. After that, that's when the emotional bruise start coming in. The signs that I seen probably was when we was more out in public. Whatever I said, he would shut it down. We was at a foot locker and he completely blew up on me. That was my first sign. After that, that's when the emotional bruise start coming in. The type of abuse I experienced was physical, mental, emotional. It started with a gentleman that I had married. When I was in the apartment, he used to tie me up. He says, you're not going anywhere. So he would tie me up so I could not go anywhere. And when I got used to the fact of knowing that I had to stay in the apartment, I didn't leave the apartment, he would untie me, and he says, you're not, you're not going anywhere, so I didn't go anywhere except to and from work, that's all I did. He would tell me, would nobody want to be with me other than him? He's the only one that's for me. I don't need to have male friends, what I need to have male friends for, I got him. It got to a point, we was at a movie theater, he blew up, he just grabbed me by my arm. Security guard came out and said that he would call the police and he went off on a security guard, was like, this is my wife, I own her. I was taught, this is your husband, you're his wife. You do whatever needs to be done. My mom pulled me aside at the reception that we were having. She said, I wanna tell you what your husband just told me. She said, your husband says, I didn't marry your daughter because she's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I married your daughter because she's the type of person that will do what she's told and keep her mouth shut. And I was at that time. That I've done therapy with people who have experienced and one of the thing is they're not ready to get out they see it but then they think that that they can change that person you can't change anyone unless they want to be changed I see it time and time how people are losing their life over intimate partner violence then I see they're not ready to get out they can't get out there are resources to help you especially for the veterans, community resources that are willing to help veterans. Let somebody know. They have to know. And just try to get all this and try to get a plan together because it ain't worth your life. So don't, don't, don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. You need to choose life for yourself. You need to choose life for yourself.